It's Spider-Man meme season, everybody. Spider-Man has always been a pop culture icon, and personally the only superhero I ever really cared for growing up. But it's been a long time since pointing Spider-Man smacked itself onto our computer monitors in our youth. Nowadays, we're memeing the best, the only goaded superhero movie and Spider-Man movie, the Spider-Verse movies, which just about everyone seems to love. If you don't like them, you just hate fun. You hate fun. Admit it. Uh-oh, the fun police just arrived. So here's some Spider-Verse memes that have been trending recently. First one of these worth mentioning, actually originates from a couple months ago when everyone started redrawing this 8-frame animation from the second trailer for Across the Spider-Verse. First, the GIF was made and posted by user Daigutan on April 4th, and each subsequent day, users started drawing over the 8 frames with any character they could possibly think of. The Owl House, FNF, Roblox Doors, Homestuck, any little niche internet community had their own 8-frame animation. Anyone you could possibly imagine displayed in glory. It was one of the most creative memes we've seen in a while. Now, flash forward to closer to the film's release date, and the memes started firing on all cylinders. One of the big ones was not uh Spider-Man, an object labeling TikTok meme based off the scene from Into the Spider-Verse, where Miles drops Peter Parker into a portal and brings him back to his own universe. For some reason, the memes are also usually set to the song I Wonder by Kanye. A lot of them would be gaming related, like the caption, me saying goodbye to the random 24-year-old man with three kids I found in random duos in 2018. <laughs> anyway, I like to imagine I throw away annoying FPS solo cubers into the void like Miles too. Here's another meme with the caption, when you beat your friend who taught you the game. This is very true. Another big meme was the Crease His Jordans meme, where people would make fun of Miles for creasing his Jordans in Into the Spider-Verse. This was actually a meme for a while, but became popular again this year with the caption, Jarvis Creases Jordans. Not the Jordans, man, really? I'd rather you said Jarvis Execute Order 66, or like Jarvis Drone Strike Him, but creasing my Jordans? Now you've gone a step too far. Having your Jordans creased is sort of like the ultimate failure in life. This is why you have to take your shoes off in the car, just like this meme shows. I actually put bubble wrap around my shoes when I go outside. God forbid a speck of dust taints their original pulchritudinous form, my sneakers under several layers of protective cement. Many scenes have gone viral too, particularly a bagel scene from the first movie which has been dubbed the bagel effect. People basically meme that the bagel ultimately changed the course of the entire plot of the second film, like the butterfly effect. Like if I went back in time to make sure Big Chungus was never created, I'd probably come back to the future and the whole world would be completely different. It would look like the utopia meme, society if no Big Chungus. Lore has gone viral too, with many people discussing canon events, which are events that must happen to each Spider-Man, because if not, their universe faces destruction. People started memeing this, talking about very funny canon events, like this image that reads, Fumbling that baddie was a canon event, bro. There's probably a Spider-Man who changed the course of time and saved the world, all because he like slipped on a banana peel one time. Some people even asked, what the hell was this character's canon event, next to pictures of Spider-Horse and Spider-Cat? No, I actually scratched up your brand new couch to save the world. It's my canon event. You wouldn't understand. And you might be shocked <laughs> to see this ne next meme. <laughs> Get it? Yeah, it's shocked Miles Morales. I've been seeing this image everywhere I go. It's hard to get shocked at this point. It's a post by artist Rafflezy26 from early June of 2023, based on this other image of a shocked guy you've probably seen a million times before. This is the perfect reaction image, though, because you can use it for literally everything. Me, when Summoning Salt says the Super Mario 64 world record was actually beaten for the 1,000th time by user PoopyButt67. Me, when the worst person I know makes a good argument. Me, when I make it to Taco Bell one minute after they stop serving Taco Bell breakfast. Gah! You can put basically anything here as the caption. That's the beauty of it. And many users would, to much virality. Me, when the video ends abruptly.